All right, guys, this is John Little Life Gardens. Um, I got some great news, some good news, and some bad news. Um, we'll start with the bad news. Well, let's start with the great news first. All right. Um, right here is a package that came in today, and this came from Be Expanded. This is the new Massey Ferguson Factory Fit Thumb from Be Expand. And I know everybody's been waiting on this. I've been waiting on this. Uh, I spoke to Ryan uh, earlier, and uh, he was excited about this coming in. Uh, he wanted it to look, um, well, I, I, I'll tell you what his words were. This is the best looking thumb they've, they've made. So, um, so I can't wait to open it. And he anticipated that. So, um, Y'all, he, he kind of set it up for the unboxing video, which this is what this is going to be. So, um, the good news is also, uh, this is the great news. The good news also is that um, we got another add-on for the tractor. I'm not going to say what it is yet until we get it uh, in. And the bad news. Here's the bad news, guys. Uh, I just got this in today. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday... I drove all the way to my dealer and dropped my tractor off so they could do some service work on it, uh, some, some warranty issues to fix, uh, particularly like the, um, the uh, temperature gauge that y'all know I've been having a little issue with. Um, you know, and they're going to be having it until early September, somewhere in there. So even though this came in today, I can't do an install video yet and definitely can't test it yet. So we're just going to do an unboxing, and then when the tractor gets back to me, then we will do the uh, install, and then the, um, uh, you know, working it, and see what it looks like, uh, see how it performs. Uh, so, but uh, he did want to make a point about the difference between this one and the factory. Some of the things they did that was different to, to make this one a bit better. So, and I do got some information for y'all as well, okay? Okay. Um, because of the circumstances in which this one came about, and that they, uh, the price of it, which is still cheaper, I believe, than the factory, is $3.99 plus shipping. So that's fantastic. You can also get it in Massey Ferguson Red, uh, or the Red. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly Massey Ferguson Red, but it's, it's, it's supposed to be Red. This one here is Red. Or the BX Pan Silver. Uh, you got a choice of either one. Um on it um so also he informed me to let y'all the viewers in canada know that they are set up to ship these things directly to you in canada it won't pass through customs they can get it to you really quickly uh because of the way they got it set up they can give y'all a really good rate at getting it to you in canada so if you're in canada and you want one of these they are set up to ship over there and that so you can order them and they do the transfer, all that stuff. Uh, I don't know how the dollar works and that, but they you can purchase these things and they can ship them to you. And I think he said something like like three and four days you can uh, have it. Uh, so that's incredible getting it to Canada. So that was really cool. But anyway, I wanted to do the unboxing. There's no way I could sit on this thing uh, for the next two weeks waiting for my tractor to get here. It's just it just wasn't going to happen. So here we go. Let's unbox this thing and let's see what we got. So. I got my good old everyday Ger uh, Carrie Gerber here. Uh, I will say this too. Uh, it is packed very tight. Uh, there was no rattling, no shaking, no noise of any kind. Uh, and it also, it, it's, it's got some weight, guys. Uh, this one here weighs, weighs a, a good bit. So, all right. So let me put this down and let's open this up and let's see what we got here. All right, so we got some spray foam. All right, yes, they did pack it in really nice and tight. Okay, he also told me that everything you need to install this is in here, including the instructions, and you really need to read the instructions once, a good once over, before you try installing it, and then follow the instructions step by step as you install it, because there's a couple of pieces in here that it only fits one way. So, I'm also gonna add some pictures that he sent me. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look how thick this thing is. Oh, man. Look at the paint job on this. There's our pen. Uh, he also um, informed me that... Um, 
Oh my god. I, I done lost track of mine. Here. Uh, I'm losing my mind, but hey. Ain't we all these days? Look at the beefiness of this. Oh my god, this thing is stout. He uh sent me some pictures. Excuse me, uh, excuse me for a minute, guys. Let me uh let me get this out. I'm kind of doing this one-handed. Look at this. Let's get this in the light. Oh, there went the pan. Look at the milling in that. Look at this. Oh, um, look at that paint job. And if I am not mistaken, it looks like the BX Expand. It's not a sticker. It actually looks like it is metal flake. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but it looks like there's metal flake in the silver which really shines. I like how they did this engineered and built in the USA. And I like how they did the little backhoe right here. That is really cool. But I love how they curled, curved it inward. Uh, and unlike the uh, factory one, he sent me some comparison pictures, which I'll add into this video. It's side by side with the factory. So you can see the differences between the two. Uh, and one of the biggest differences is, is right here. This this curves inward. So anything that you try to grab between the bucket and your thumb actually will go up into your bucket, up into the thumb, higher in set. And unlike the factory Massey one that curves outwards like this and tries to, in fact, Mr. Teddy Bear had to add a piece to his for picking up rocks because every time he would try to clamp onto a good sized rock, uh, it would spit it out. And in them pictures, I'm going to show y'all how this thing grabs rocks. Mr. Teddy Bear, you're going to really like this. Um, but look at the beefiness of this thing. Oh, my God. This thing is stout. Really, really, really stout. I love it. I just love it. And he said the reason why some of the pieces had to be made. Um, okay, let me set this part aside. Had to be made to fit a certain direction. Is because uh, here's the instructions. So I give that a good once over before I even try to install it, and then uh, then I'll walk it through step by step. But yeah, well here we go, right there. The because it curves inward like this, you can grab these boulders, these rocks, and it will actually hold it when when it curves outwards. Uh, and Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Teddy Bear did a really good job on his video showing, you know, how he had to make a, a piece to, to grab, to catch another tooth, uh, kind of, on the tip. Because it, w when you would squeeze, it would spit the rock out. It, it would just inject the rock, and you couldn't actually grab a hold to the rock. But with this one, you can. So that that's really, really cool, guys. Um, but there's your instructions. And let's set that aside. And the pen is beef. Man, look at that. Recess grease insert. That is really, really sweet. You have to use your cap and seal. But yeah, the, uh, because it's so much beefier in that now, that uh, in order for it to close, uh, for your bucket to be able to close and for it to lay against your um, dipper stick, it had to be set a little offset to it. Look at this. Look at the size of that tubing. Nice square tubing. It's big. Yeah, boy. You know, um, big expand is, is you know, I, I don't, and I should have asked Ryan that. I don't know how long they've actually been in business building stuff for tractors. But I tell you what, man, if they keep going at this rate, building this high quality stuff for a fair, fair price, they're going to be in business for a very long time. Look at that. Look at the welds. I mean, the welds all the way around. I mean, they just, they, man, they just do a hell of a job engineering it. And look at that. Jeez, man. This is, now, I think the total shipping weight was 50 pounds. So you probably got about 30, 40 some odd pounds of actual thumb, maybe. Uh, you know, give me a second, guys, and I'll pull this down. Ah, I'm sorry about this. Kind of doing this one-handed. Because I really wanted to get the close-up shots. And I don't want to scratch it until I install it. 
and then I'll scratch it. <laughs> but I'm joking, you know, trying to try to uh, really do a, a good job on it. Look at that. Look at that. That is incredible. That is incredible. Really nice. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And I like how they went ahead and capped this in in right here. And this is the little offset he was talking about right here. So that it lays nice and flat. They offset it like this so it lays nice and flat when it's folded up to your dipper stick. So, and he explained it to me. Look at that solid. That is freaking solid. Jeez, man. They really outdid themselves this time. This has got to be probably, well, he told me in his opinion, this is probably one of the best thumbs they ever, ever they, they've done to date. That it, it, it's just, they really stepped out big on this. And looking at it, I, I would have to agree. I would really, really have to agree. I mean, this thing is just mean. I cannot wait to get this on my tractor and give it a good, thorough go over and see what it can do with this thing. I don't think you could twist this thing or bend it in any shape or form. The boats are all grade A boats. I mean, and just beefy boats, not, not no little cheesy ones, just huge. The pin is, is well done. Uh, you know, they didn't thin sheet it. I mean, they really stepped up uh, on this. Um, okay, so let me, uh, let me uh, set some records straight right quick for y'all. Okay, so I didn't mention before that me and Ryan talked about it, and Ryan wanted to give me this thing for free and, and let me do the video, and I would rather have paid for it but Ryan, being the kind of guy he is, just refused to accept that, and he went ahead and shipped it to me anyway, without paying for this. So, uh, Ryan, I, I can't, I mean, I really appreciate that. I really do. Okay, I, it's just tremendous. Uh, and like I said, it is $3.99. I called him to, to confirm all the numbers. So you can get it this red. Or you can get it the traditional um, B expanded silver. So uh, either way, depending on your choice. Um, when we first talked about it, and he told me about this, I kind of liked it, the silver because you know the red tends to at some point it kind of starts to blend in more and more red, and eventually you can't tell what's what because it's all just red and blends in. And the silver really stands out like the tooth bar, and it, it just really stands out, and you can you notice it right off the bat. But he said he wanted to send it to me red like this because of the way they did it with the silver lettering, it stands out. It makes the lettering that stand out. Um, I don't. I think if I would have bought the silver one, I would kind of been upset with myself when I seen this one come out. So, I, I just love it. I, I really do. This, this is just awesome. But, with all this said, my review is still going to be fair. They had took the time to really, really uh, test it before he shipped it. Make sure everything worked properly. Uh, and he sent me the pictures of the tractor that they were testing it on. A little Massey Ferguson, just like mine. That they tested it on and they grabbed a bunch of different things and then they did a side by side comparison. And before they shipped it out, they really wanted this to hit big and they wanted it to hit showing the quality of work they like to do. You know, I know it's been a while and he did apologize for it. He ran into some issues that he didn't anticipate. It wasn't his fault. But now they got it cleared up, they got it working. So if you want them, you can get them. They'll have them ready to ship. So, um, this is just so cool. I just cannot believe how good this looks. Um, this is beautiful. I mean, this is going to be one hell of an addition to my tractor. It really is. And Ryan, I really appreciate you, uh, you stepping up, um, and really showing us what y'all can do. Y'all can do some some wild stuff. And as far as I can see, it's a big thumbs up. Huge thumbs up. Um, it's just, it's wild. It is mean. It is mean. And they are ready to take orders. They're ready to take orders here in the States and in Canada. All right, guys, this is John with Liquid Life Guard. And, uh, I will see y'all on the next one. And we'll get this thing on my tractor. And then we'll play with it and see what we can do with it. 
Y'all have a good one.